Government Product News is here today with Andy Wakefield, who's Director of Government Relations at Lutron Electronics. Uh, Lutron produces lighting and whole room controls, shading systems, fixtures, LED drivers, sensors, uh, and other lighting products. So thank you, Andy Wakefield, for joining us at, at Government Product News. Is uh, the lighting industry moving towards LED fixtures and are commercial and institutional customers buying more LEDs? Uh, yeah, and thanks for having me. And yes, the answer is uh, emphatically yes, uh, and actually very quickly now. Um, we work with a lot of the light, major lighting manufacturers, and, and what they're telling us is right now roughly 30% of the fixtures that they're manufacturing are LED fixtures, and in the next few years, that's going to completely switch, and it'll be about 70% of the fixtures they're manufacturing will be LED. So rapid adoption of a, of a pretty exciting technology. So uh, it, it's really compelling with an energy savings and the flexibility of light you can get out of LEDs. Uh, I think you're going to see the, the market shift very quickly. And uh, uh, is uh, the government sector adopting LEDs at a, a similar rate? Um, I would say no. They're, they're being a little more cautious, uh, taking a little bit longer view. Um, there's a lot of different technologies out there, and, and they're in their facilities typically for many years. Uh, so there's been a little bit of a uh, go a little slower. But they're now very interested, in, and I think that's going to ramp up here over the over the next couple of years. Uh, I get a lot of questions. The number one question I get asked when I'm out there is about technology and what's going on in that market. Um, what should a government facility manager or engineer keep in mind when considering switching to LEDs? Um, there's a few things to keep in mind. Um, one is, and probably most importantly, there's a lot of different manufacturers out there. There's a lot of different technology out there. As, as any market that's moving this fast, you really kind of need to do your homework and make sure that, that you're working with some folks that are going to help you take the long view uh, because these fixtures are a little bit different than the fixtures we're, we're used to. Uh, they're very easy to control. You can change the color. You can do a lot of really neat things. They save a lot of energy. But at the same time, uh, you have to think about the application you're going to be using them in, and in a government facility, typically the government is in that facility for 10, 20, 30, 40, even 50 years. And with these fixtures, you don't actually change the bulbs like you do in a fluorescent fixture or an incandescent fixture. When the, when the LED arrays burn out, you have to replace the fixture. They last a lot longer, but it's an entire fixture replacement or, or some type of uh, renovation or retrofit. So you got to really take a long view and look at the technology and make sure the technology you're applying is, is going to be appropriate, you know, decades in the future. And Andy, why should an engine energy manager within a government facility include lighting control technologies in new or retrofit product projects? Uh, well, the number one reason is, uh, energy savings. Uh, typically in an office building, uh, roughly 35 to 40 percent of the energy consumed or the electricity consumed in that building is consumed by the lighting. Um, and by layering on various lighting control strategies, you can reduce that uh, almost 60 percent and, and get an overall energy savings or electricity savings of 25 percent in the building. So the numbers there are pretty compelling, but uh, what's also neat about lighting control and lighting is it's really your, uh, you can have your cake and eat it too scenario. Think about it. If you give people choice of light and more flexible light, it actually, it's an energy saving technology that enhances the environment we're working in as opposed to making a trade off. Uh, you know, if you want to save money on the HVAC, you have to accept it being slightly colder or slightly warmer. With lighting, when you dim the lights, you're actually saving energy and you're setting the light level, the correct level for the task at hand or the meeting. Uh, so it makes people more comfortable and more productive. And the last question, Andy, um, does Lutron have any advice for government administrators on improving facility lighting? Uh, yeah, I think so. There's there's a lot of resources out there that, that they can turn to for help. Um, you know, the market is, is is has put a lot of energy into um, creating white papers and various websites that you can go to to find information. So there's a lot of information out there. Obviously, you can talk to manufacturers. Uh, just do your homework. 
uh, as I said, I think you'll be very happy with the project. They'll be very happy with the project, but you've got to do a little bit of homework and, and make sure you reach out to some of those experts and get that expertise. Well, uh, thank you, Andy Wakefield from Lutron Electronics and uh, for offering this information to the Government Product News uh, website. Thanks again. Oh, it's my pleasure.